Hello, my friends on YouTube. What are we doing here with this video? Well, it's a recap. It's a recap of some important news that happened yesterday for the Age of Empires franchise. Many of you will be interested. Maybe many of you are not going to be interested or many of you are going to be very surprised and now it's going to be interested on what we are going to show you. There is several things to show you here. First, surprising for you guys. Well, I knew about this, but now I can tell. Age of Empires Mobile. We're going to check about it and I will give you my opinion about it. As you know, always, always clear, straight and honest. The Age of Empires mythology retold, you know, and also we have what is probably what is matters more for us because we love Age of Empires 2. A new DLC. And the last but not the least, the surprise that I'm not going to tell you till we see. No, I will tell you. Guys, it's a new Red Bull coming. But do you want to see all those clips? I have prepared all the clips they uploaded on YouTube because there was over two hours of a, of a video they did in the Age of Empires Twitch. Then I have got all the clips. I have seen four or five clips. It's not too, it's not too long, but we're going di directly to see this. Okay, let's go, guys. And we react about it. I have prepared a special scene, as you can see, all full screen with me at the bottom right corner to see What's going on? And the first one is the Age of Empires mobile trailer. Let's go. Let's go and watch it together. Vicente is a new. We know those saves. That's the key. Joins millions of the players worldwide. Right? Age of Empires Mobile. Well, this clip, what they are trying to do with this one, I believe that they are just trying to grow the, fa the franchise. Might be a good idea. Personally, for me, as, as you know, well, you know me, right? And um, I love Age of Empires too. And I need to see the gameplay. The gameplay, play it and see. But I don't see myself too much invest into a mobile game. But as a way to bring people and connect people and make them to discover Age of Empires franchise might be a great idea. Obviously, the video looks always great. These trailers always look great. But till we see the game, let's see. Insist to make the Age of Empires more known I think it's a great idea. I don't know what you think. Do you give me your comment below. But let's know a little bit more about the Age of Empires Mobile. And then we have maybe have a better idea, right? Let's go. Age of Empires Mobile 为 Age of Empires 系列带来了全新的体验。这是一款真实大战场战争策略手游，包含丰富的 RTS 元素、快节奏的战斗、趣味的王国建设、多人社交玩法，以及多个文明的历史英雄。玩家需要建立自己的帝国，并加入联盟，与来自全世界的盟友一起驱逐入侵者，并且扩大联盟领土，最后向王城发起进攻。这款游戏由 w o r d s e n g e 与天美联合开发，我们与 w o r d s e n g e 拥有相同的愿景。
，希望通过 Age of e m p i r e Mobile 这款游戏，让更多的用户体验到策略游戏的乐趣。有心，天美的团队成员基本都是 Age of Empires 的多年粉丝，对 Age of Empires 的热爱，也是许多团队成员投身策略游戏研发的原因之一。我自己在高中的时候，常常玩 Age of Empires 2到废寝忘食，一张地图能重复的玩六七遍，也不觉得腻。Age of Empires 2 guys is the way to go。我们团队从一六年开始专注研发策略手游，希望利用天美在大地图设计、多人在线、社交功能方面的经验，融入对 Age of Empires 全制的热爱，与 World Age 一起，将最顶级的策略游戏体验带到手机上。让 Age of Empires 的玩家能够随时随地与更多朋友一起体验全新的 Age of Empires. Well, this is important. Are you using Age of Empires Mobile? It's a fresh take on the Age of Empires series. We've preserved the classic Age of Empires elements as much as possible, while introducing new gameplay and controls optimized for mobile devices. We hope to deliver that classic Age of Empires feeling in a brand new experience. What sets our game apart is its large-scale epic stage battles, where hundreds of players clash on one screen. It's a dynamic and immersive combat experience that blends large-scale alliance strategies with individual maneuvers. Age of Empires Mobile also caters to players who enjoy single-player adventures. You can build and expand your empire independently, delve into diverse single-player dungeons, and freely explore the vast world map to gather resources. Embark on PVE encounters or engage in intense one-on-one -on -one PVP battles. When designing civilizations, we conducted extensive research with Microsoft's team, including field trips and specialized discussions, to stay as true to history as possible. For example, the Roman civilization features stone structure. The Byzantine civilization is rich in mosaic decorations, and the Chinese civilization. With its abundant wood resources, excels in wooden architecture. All these factors influenced our choice of materials and art style when designing the architecture of different civilizations. In addition to experiencing familiar civilizations in Age of Empires Mobile, you will also relive classic Age of Empires elements, including rich citadel resources, iconic siege weapons, and classic music and sound effects. Also, our games preserve the essence of Age of Empires. Aspects such as base building. Freedom of movement during combat and strategic unit placement, and a wide variety of strategies. Speaking of strategy, Age of Empires Mobile focuses more on pre-battle strategy compared to Age of Empires. Many well-known historical heroes will be fighting alongside you, carrying a diverse set of unique skills and tons of room for customization. You can then technically combine these heroes into battle teams, opening even more room for creative strategies. So I've heard many players are curious about what kind of game Age of Empires Mobile is. It's a war strategy game with rich RTS gameplay, specifically optimized for the mobile platform. What the? We've simplified the input scheme to make it more intuitive <laughs> for the new player. Age of Empires Mobile is currently under active development. We're planning original tests to continuously optimize the game, and we can't wait to introduce it to players worldwide. Age of Empires Mobile is available for pre-registration on the App Store and Google Play right now. Also, check out our official website for pre-registration events and more information. Join our official communities for the latest updates on Age of Empires Mobile. We're looking forward to seeing you in the game. Let's go! Coming 24, 2024. Okay, I mean, after watching this, I got a little bit more excited, you know, like... This sounds good and it's what I'm telling you. In mind that, I mean, you cannot bring always the PC to your console who is using nowadays the mobiles. It's super easy to access to these. You put the mobile on to charge, you know, and even you can watch a stream from AOE 2 and then you are playing a little bit. So if the gameplay is cool and you can play with a lot of friends, maybe it has, you know, a good future. Also, what is bringing uh, problems to, for example, Age of Empires 2 lovers and so on is that the game need a lot of hours to get into a level is a little bit slow. These games usually are much faster. I believe they are much faster. So maybe it's gonna appeal and bring a lot more people. Who knows? Let's see what time say. And you tell me what you think about what we see here. If I miss some point or you want to bring some point, comment below below the stream. We move now to something that people has been really hype, right? Age of mythology, retold. I didn't check this. I have watched everything but not this. 
I'm gonna watch for the first time with you guys. Let's go. Prostagma, hello heroes. I'm here in the studio today using augmented reality to step into the world of Age of Mythology retold. Yes, I am standing next to a Titan gate and yes, we will get to that very soon. My name is Melinda Rose and I am the art director here at World's Edge and I feel so honored uh, to be a part of this team and to be able to show off this game to you that we all have been working so hard on and we love so much. So in Age of Mythology Retold, we're not only upgrading the engine and bringing all of those quality of life improvements that you've come to expect from World's Edge, but in addition to that, we're doing even more to update the art. So that means all new 3D models, all new animations, textures, UI, VFX, the whole shebang. So we are going to be showing off three characters from the Greek civilization, Medusa, Pegasus, and Cerberus. You know, usually you'd be seeing them from high up in the sky as you command your battles, but um, I'm biased and I wanted to show the characters as close to life size as we can fit them. Well, without any further ado, let's bring Medusa into the studio. Are you excited? I am so excited. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh my god. To see her in real life like this. She's not so low poly anymore, is she? From this distance, okay. you're able to see all the details we've added to her model to tell her story. Each strand of her hair is an individual wild snake. It's she cool. She wears Grecian styled man. golden snake armbands. Her armor is made up of flexible scale mail to mimic scales. And if you're brave enough to get super close and risk being petrified and turn to stone, How much resources you, you need to make these guys? Her vertical oh. snake like pupils. All right, well, I don't have any good counters for Medusa in the building today, and we got to keep this rolling, so I'm just going to cut straight to her death animation. Medusa, I'm so sorry to see you go. To the damn hell. Oh, that's brutal, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it next is. up, let's bring in Pegasus. Oh, man. Hi, Pegasus. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? Uh, so Pegasus is the majestic winged horse who serves as an archaic age aerial scout for the Greek civilization. This Pegasus looks a little fancier than you may remember, and that is because in Age of Mythology Retold, when you upgrade your myth units through technologies, those units will get a brand new visual upgrade to reflect that increase in power. So we're looking at the upgraded version today. Say hello, Pegasus. <laughs> I don't want to keep us too long from the Titan that you're all excited to see, so I'm sorry, Pegasus, we have to say goodbye. Oh, oh, that makes me so sad. <laughs> All right, last but not least, let's bring in Cerberus. <laughs> oh my god. This is god. the Hound of Hades and Titan of the Greek civilization. He's a little smaller again uh, than he will be in game, but believe it or not, this was one of the first models that we made for Age of Mythology Retold back when we were trying to decide, you know, what we wanted this game to look like. He wears heavy chains and tattered armor, which represent his escape from the underworld, as well as the mark of Hades on his shoulder pauldrons. Titans have been upgraded to be more powerful against walls and buildings, and even rivers and oceans won't be able to stop their wrecking power. With three ferocious heads and more destructive power than ever before, Cerberus will be a formidable opponent or a powerful ally in Age of Mythology Retold. Okay, well, he is obviously raring to go, and we will see him on the battlefield eventually. I'm sorry, Cerberus, you gotta get going. Oh, oh. Die. Wish I could do that to my opponents in game. He's so, not, she's not sad with up, him. Our goal Diane. is to not only pay homage to the past, but to breathe new life into this game and maximize the mythology. And one more thing before I go, I would like to reveal our official cover art featuring so many of the iconic gods and heroes players will remember. I am excited to announce the Age of Mythology Retold will be available on day one on both PC and Xbox. So follow us on socials for behind the scenes concept art as well as before and after comparison images of the three models that we've showcased today. And don't forget to wishlist us to stay informed in the future. Our Cantos will awaken in 2024. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye. Well, I have never been uh, too much into the Age of Mythology. Obviously, as you see this, and it looks very cool, right? Like, very cool. So, I'm not have so many comments to do. I, I like it, what they, what they saw here, you know? But let's see for the game. I wanted just to show you. So, in one video, guys, you have everything. Everything that it was the most important, announced 
yesterday. And now we go for what we really looking forward, right? Here the most, or maybe not. Maybe some other people likes more of what we have seen till now. And this is the DLC, guys. The new DLC for Age of Empires 2 is called Victors and Vanquish. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm Ramsey Abdul Rahim. Here at World's Edge, we've always believed that the community is the driving force behind the success of the Age franchise. Over the years, we've partnered with community creators, from streamers to scenario designers to modders, and helped bring their ideas and passion into the games. We've also heard from many of you who have asked for more content, especially campaign content. We listened, and I'm thrilled to announce Victors and Vanquished, the first Full ever campaign-focused campaign expansion pack for Age of Empires II Definitive Edition. It features 19, yes, 19 scenarios. That's Whoa. more scenarios than any previous expansion for the Definitive Edition. But more than that, I'd like to say Victors and Vanquished is a labor of love. You see, before joining World's Edge, I was a community scenario designer myself. I built dozens of custom scenarios, beloved by our most passionate campaign players. Now, in Victors and Vanquished, I'd like to share some of the very best and most popular of these works with the entire Age community. If you've played my scenarios before, you didn't play these scenarios. Each has been carefully updated and polished to reach the high bar you expect from the Age of Empires franchise. We're talking full professional voice acting. We struck with our swords. Original music, rebalancing, hundreds of bug fixes, and quality of life improvements. We're also talking five all new, never before seen scenarios. So let's take a look. It is your destiny to overcome the clans, unite Japan, and rule. In Victors and Vanquished, we want to go beyond the familiar and give you something new. Something that re-sparks the sense of wonder and possibility when you first played the campaigns many years ago. And for new players, or those who haven't dabbled in campaigns before, these scenarios may justify your expectations on what an Age of Empires scenario is. In Ragnar, you unleash your inner Viking. The warriors beat their swords against Oaken Shield. Send your warbands across the sea on a massive map of Northern Europe. All big empires start from humble origins, and yours will be no different. Begin with raids to pay and recruit warriors. Then capture Jarldoms in Norway, Denmark, and Sweden to grow your power. As you rise to become king, more possibilities are at your fingertips. Use your achievements to unlock technologies, find powerful heroes, raid wherever you want, and even worship the gods for bonuses. And out of the great, you are surrounded by enemies. Fearsome Vikings, horse-riding Magyars, and stalwart Franks. But your power is not absolute. You have three vassals. These can be your very best friends, helping you achieve your ambition to become Holy Roman Emperor, or they'll be a rebellious thorn in your side. Balance your power against theirs and use well-timed gifts to keep them in line. Finally, in Oda Nobunaga, choose to play as one of six different unique factions. Will you lead the Takeda and crush your enemies with the best cavalry in Japan? Or will you command the Otomo and find your advantage in the arrival of strange people with new weapons? Or if subterfuge and assassination is more your style, try the Mori clan and leverage your criminal network to recruit unsavory characters. In Victors and Vanquished, you tell your own story like never before in Age of Empires. Victors and Vanquished is now available for pre-order. And we have a lot more coming for Age of Empires 2. This is only the beginning. Will you be the victor or the vanquished? Well, guys, I love what he said, you know? What he said also at the end. And we have a lot more coming for Age of Empires 2. I don't know what you think about this, but myself, I get excited to see that they keep investing in the game. I hope, obviously, the problems that we all see in the in the in the game for the for the pathing and so on. You know, they made use of recent patch; it's gonna be fixed. But it's good that they keep committed. And watching this video, I don't know how you feel, but do you want guys that I definitely play the campaigns that I make? You know, a video per campaign, and do we make this special content for YouTube? Might be interesting for many people, right? And I might give a shot for sure. 
because uh, I want to test as well and and obviously always promote and and help this game to grow more and more. I'm 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 really more hype than I was before watching this because I didn't watch the whole the whole thing with the the the, the, the DLC and the guys from the community is what he say right. Very nice. But now, guys, I'm gonna show you something, something that probably for me that, that you know that I'm a Age of Empires lover, but the tournament hosts are or oh, caster. My goodness, what is coming, guys? What is coming? Look, guys. Not forget the latest news. Our friends at Red Bull have given us the honor of making a big announcement. Red Bull Wololo, El Reynado is coming later this year. El Reynado! We are looking forward to it. This partnership has been so wonderful over the years, and I can't wait to see what this next event brings. There will be some differences, but we are not ready to share any more just yet. Stay tuned for more information. Speaking... My goodness, guys. My goodness. Well, uh, this is the Red Bull El Reynado, is what he said. El Reynado, that's Spanish. And I, I know you because I'm Spanish, right? And it has to be in Spain. I mean, maybe it can be in South America too, but I have the feeling it's going to be in Spain. What is the most surprise it's going to be? I don't know. It's going to be Empire Wars. I believe it will be Empire Wars. It's their, their trademark, their, their identity. And it's really good to have Red Bull coming. I don't know what you think. It is really good. Well, this is the news they give, guys. We have seen Age of Empires Mobile, you know, Age of Empires Mythology retold, the new campaign for the DLC, and now Red Bull World of Law. It's going to be many, many TV events during this year. We will see, guys. But for now, this is the most important we have seen below the screen. How hype, how happy, how you feel about all this. Give me your feedback and we will talk. I will do a next video about where... It can be hosted, this Red Bull Wololo El Renado. I don't know, but I have some guess, and I'll give you some options. Do you want to see something else? Let me know, guys. Let me know, and we will talk about everything. We love this game. Stay tuned. Or stay tuned if you don't know me so well.